So hopefully by now we've got a decent setup. Remember we've gripped down the club, nice light grip pressure. Our feet are actually turned out slightly. Breastbone is slightly ahead of the ball. So everything's kind of closed in, got much more feel to it now. When we actually come to execute the shot, what I'm going to try and make sure is you actually get quite a bit of wrist action in the backswing. Okay, so we're hinging this sort of back wrist, this right wrist, hinging that quite early on. Alright, so nice little bit of hinge. Okay, remember that club's going to come in nice and shallow because we've set the feet up correctly. Nice bit of hinge. As it comes through, I'm going to increase grip pressure. So it gets a hinge in the backswing. On the through swing, there's no real wrist motion. So you get a hinge, and then tighten the grip pressure. So it's nice and loose, probably 3 out of 10 here, still 3 out of 10 into the downswing. Then I increase probably to about 5 out of 10. So I make sure that I don't get any of this. If the grip pressure is too loose all the way through, you might start kind of flipping at the shot and popping the ball too much up in the air, or maybe even thinning it as well. So 3 out of 10 in the backswing and start of the downswing. Increase the grip pressure to 5 out of 10. So you can see what happens with my arms. I get great extension with the arms. Right, that extension is really going to get you great consistency and great direction as well. So if we look at it down the line. So I swing back. You can see quite early wrist action. Notice how the leading edge is kind of probably about the same as my spine angle. If it opens up too much, we probably won't have enough time to square the face on the downswing and the ball will shoot off to the right. So with an early wrist hinge, we get the club face, same as your spine angle. So it, it might appear a little bit closed. Okay, so loose, Grip in the backswing and start the downswing and grip a little bit tighter on the way through.